Hey, morning everybody. Chad here with Canine Revolution Dog Training. Today you'll see me out in uh, our training areas on our property with uh, Doberman Bain, five-year-old Doberman. And uh, today the focus of this training session is going to be, number one, maintenance of some obedience behaviors. And the reward we're going to be using for this session is going to be a toy reward. It's going to be a ball on a string. We're also going to work on uh, remote rewards, meaning the reward is not with you. The reward is away from you. And uh, on a specific uh, verbal cue, a verbal marker, you're going to be able to release the dog to go and seek and find the reward, whatever reward it is you're using. Okay. Uh, Bane is off leash. Uh, however, we are using a remote collar uh, to apply our corrections as needed and to be our invisible leash. All right. So I just released them. We were healing. You probably didn't even notice I had a, a ball on the string in my right hand. I dropped it as we were healing. And then right then I just released him to go get it. And now he's bringing the ball back. And now we're going to play tug with the ball on the string for a second. So you can see he's got the ball. He's having a good time. I grab the string. I move backward to promote him moving forward with me. And uh, every time that he shows me some good uh, tug play, you know, uh, thrashing the ball on the string or digging in deeper, putting the ball deeper in his mouth, I'm going to reward him for that by letting go and let him have a good time. Okay. So then I asked him to out, had him heal back to me. I tossed the ball off to the side and I'm asking him to look at me as we pass by the ball, right? And the ball's out of the frame now, but he's still moving with me. I'm practicing body adherence. Every time that he is tempted to uh, look away from me, I'm going to uh, give him a little correction for that, okay? And then whenever he does the right thing, I release him just like you saw. Now we're back playing tug again. Again, I'm backing up, just enjoying a good good uh, play here with him, all right? It's enjoyable for him. should also be enjoyable for me as the owner or handler, all right? And remember, if he's thrashing or digging in that ball deeper into his grip, I'm going to let him uh, play a good game, and then I ask him to out it, and then I'm going to put him into some form of obedience. Notice he's a little tempted by the ball, but I'm just going to use the remote collar to apply a correction low level as needed to make sure that he's staying focused on task, and then he'll be able to access the ball on the string as a reward um, whenever I see fit. Okay, so now we're healing. I had the ball on the outside of him while he was looking at me. I tossed the ball in front of us. We're walking by it. Okay. Notice he was looking at the ball there for a second, so I did apply a correction to get him to uh, reinforce looking at me. I put him into a down, put him into a sit, so I'm just having him do an obedient sequence. And then I'm walking past the, the ball on the string. All right, so you notice I ha I'm off to the side of the ball on the string. I recall him to me. That way he has to make the decision to pay attention to me with the ball right there. I have him go between my legs as an obedience behavior. Okay, have him down. Okay have him come back in front of me and then I release him to the ball okay so if you're doing this with your dog you want to use obedience sequence sequences as you're playing these types of games using that remote reward all right but this is going to build up good self-control in the dog build up a better adherence to you especially if you're using a remote reward very challenging uh, for the dog mentally if you're using a, re a re remote reward you could use food as a remote reward you could use a toy as a remote reward but teaching the dog a remote reward is very very valuable to helping all of your uh, obedience behaviors become stronger as time goes on and for them to pay attention to you more in the future all right so i drop the ball again we walk away from the ball healing i'm having him look at me as we do this right he's out of heel position for a second so i'm going to give him a correction for that keep healing around all right i'm changing my body posture i want him to adjust to me and then whenever he does something correctly even for a split second i'm going to release him to go get that ball like you just saw okay and every time he brings the ball back so when you're building up this type of session when you're building up these behaviors first of all your dog has to understand how to play the game of tug right and one of the rules to that game is going to be every time that you're released to it or every time that you have it you bring it right back to me and we play all right, so that's one of the rules and that's one of the foundational pieces we're going to teach before we get into more advanced training like you see today in this video. All right, so he's thrashing. He's having a good time, right? I'm having a good time as the owner or handler. One thing about the ball on the string, okay, he's going to out here real quick. One thing about the ball on the string is with a very powerful dog like Bane here, it's easier for the handler to maintain control of the ball on the string versus a tug where he's just so powerful he could easily rip it out of your hands. Uh, which can make it a little bit difficult for you to play a really good game, okay? So I have him do an obedience sequence. I'm holding on to the ball this time. I mean, he's doing some downs, some sits. Okay, he does a, we're working on a stand, so he does a slight stand. 
And then again, we're released into the ball. If he lets go of the ball while we're playing, I'm gonna have him do another, another obedience sequence before he can access that ball again. All right, so <clears throat> just because he misses it, if he, if he slips it out of his mouth, I wanna promote a good grip. So if he slips it, I'm gonna have him do more obedience before he can get it again. So we toss the ball, <clears throat> we walk off, and this time my focus is a nice, long, straight heel. And then if he does it correctly, I'm gonna release him to the ball. He's gonna go grab it, bring it right back to me. And that's also good exercise. So I just released him. Okay, he's running off to the ball, way down there. He grabs the ball. Now he's gonna make his way back to me to finish out the session. Okay, good session. Get out there, work hard, play hard, have fun with your dog. Mm -hmm.